know the words, but it goes like. We kids always heard stories about uh, Bernalda and we knew that this is where my grandfather came from and we knew we ate some very strange food and we had some very strange customs and, and that they all seemed to come from Bernalda Bella. He never said Bernalda, he made one word, Bernalda Bella. I was fascinated, it sounded like an almost mystical place. When I was around 22, I made a film in Dublin and then Yugoslavia and came across the Adriatic and went to look for Bernalda Bella. Since the time that my grandfather left in 1904, I was the first one of the Coppola family to go back to Bernalda. In those days, as I was growing up, there were things that we did that the other kids didn't. We would go to occasionally a pizzeria. No one, none of my friends knew what a pizzeria was. And my mother would say, oh, you live in America, it's the greatest country in the world. And my father said, yes, but you're Italian, which is a country of all the great composers. And, you know, we were very proud because we were both American and Italian, and we thought we had the best of two great things. My nephew is Francis Ford Coppola, the famous uh, cineast, uh, the famous Hollywood director, and he created this wonderful place here down in, at the bottom of Italy, between the toe and the heel. So this is the garden of the Palazzo Margherita, and this garden is a historic garden. You know, I imagine that this is the garden of the princess that has to stay behind the wall until the, the lucky uh, adventurer climbs over the wall to find her. Any artistic endeavor, building a hotel, making a film, has similarities to uh, any other art form. You know, you're trying to create an illusion. I've begun almost a second phase of my career, really just the things I love to do, things I enjoyed. If I liked wine, I found that before I knew it, I was in the wine business. And I liked very much the jungle when I was working on Apocalypse Now, so I bought a little hideaway to go right in Belize and that became a hotel. So I found out that the things you do out of the love of doing them, you can have a success of, of, of sorts. I do believe that heritage is the foundation. In our family, they were either mechanisti, you know, machinists and engineers, or musicians. And of course, the old man, Augustino, was this incredible, exaggerating storyteller. So if you think of it, did you have technology, music, and storytelling, that's sort of cinema. Take my hand, I'm a stranger in paradise, for mortals who stand beside. An angel in paradise. I seem starry-eyed. That's a danger in paradise. For mortals who stand beside an angel like you. We've been married too long. No, no, the answer is 62 years. The reason for the, the longevity of the marriage, the answer is pasta fagioli. <laughs> however, however, it has to, it has to be condita correctly. That is with the, the correct olive oil, and then peperoncino, and then a, 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 una nevicata, that's a, a snowfall of, of parmesano cheese. I know, what has that got to do with the price of eggs? They asked you about marriage. It's just pasta patchouli. Well, I thought that had to do with marriage. <laughs>